Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is March 26 of 2019, my birthday, but it's almost 11 p.m., so my birthday will be over in about an hour or so. I want to thank you. Uh, I got 48 views on... Uh, the video that I posted this morning, this one that you see right here, the one that says, show me video, happy birthday to me, and got 20 comments, of course, uh, people wishing me a happy birthday. I was, uh, today I am 78 years old. Uh, my daughter, Hillary, uh, came over and uh, gave me some money for my birthday and took me to Walmart and I purchased about uh, $80 worth of groceries and Hillary got for me a sitting over there. Well, down with it. It's a vacuum cleaner, $50 vacuum cleaner. And she also got for me, because I told her about these, let's see. Well, not this specific one. I was telling her about uh, that I was going to order some Wi-Fi LED light bulbs. I saw a YouTuber who uh, was using those, and he could control them with an app. So I was going to order them from... Um, Amazon and uh, but we went to Walmart and we went of course to the we went to the garden place I really love plants but at some point in my life I became a plant killer or something so I I was looking at plants uh, I love plants if I could get them to work I would have this room is I'm less of like a cell, you know, here. But I would fill this room with plants if they would grow. I'd have, you know, I'd have to uh, push them through to get through. But plants don't live for me anymore. When I was a kid, I used to, when I was in second, third grade, I would grow plants and they, they all grew. And those little uh, half wing shaped things that come from some tree or whatever where there's a seed at the bottom of the little thing. I used to plant those and I would actually grow little trees that would have the tree would have bark on it. I just at some point <clears throat> I wonder if I'm like death or something. I wonder if I touched something. If it would die now. But anyway, so I was going to get a couple of bulbs from uh, Amazon and I think they were about $24 a piece and so after at Walmart we went to the garden center and then Hillary had to go to the cat food section and uh, then we went to the computer section electronics and they had uh, these that you see on the screen for I think it was about $12 or something like that. So I got two of them. I have, uh, as you know, you can see one over here, the pole over here, that is for a light. And I've been using the umbrella part. Well, I took the umbrella part off. And let me see if I can get this thing to no, I got it locked down. Uh, okay, I need to change my tripods again. and Because I went to the not as good one. Man, this thing's okay. There you go. There you can, well, you, you can't, that's, just, that's one of these bulbs. Now with the app on the phone, so I, it's integrated with uh, it's integrated with uh, I can't say the echo it's Alexa it's 
It's integrated with my. Whoops, I said Alexa, I got them reversed. Okay. Didn't react. So, uh, so this is tied in with Alexa and tied in with their own app, uh, which, well, this was very easy to set up. And so I have the two bulbs and I can control, this is number two over here. So I can turn it off with the app. I can turn it back on with the app. I can uh, go to, this is brightness, so I can just slide this little thing here and change the brightness down. Go back up to 100%. I can also go to color. And uh, now, remember I have another bulb going. Well, let's see what this would look like if we go kill this other identical lamp. Go back, go back. Okay, I'm going to turn off, that's number one. Whoops. Oh, okay, yeah, let's see. So, so the only one we have going is number two. So let's go back to number two, lamp. And let me change the color on. Well, this would not look good. Um, this wouldn't look good for my videos, would it not, with this one lamp. So let's go back to, uh, let's turn on the number one lamp. Okay, that's on. So maybe I should dim that down, get the right, let's do that. Let's dim the brightness down on this one. Anyway, probably better with both of them white for this video. Let me go back, remember which is which. That's number two over there, isn't it? So I want to go away from color. I want to go to white. Okay. So both of them are on white. Now the white, by the way, is uh, warm white, and I like uh, uh, oh man. I have to try my next video. I'm gonna change the tripod back, tripod back to the expensive because I have the I switch. I have my G7 camera on the. Uh, so anyway, these are the lights. I'll put a link below. Um, and I'm not necessarily, I mean, these are working okay for me. The price was right. I got them at Walmart. But I'll put that link to Amazon below for these bulbs. But if you go there, look at the other bulbs. Uh, but I'm, I'm happy with these. I just have to figure out uh, maybe the correct settings. This, of course, this looks okay, except uh, except I look to I look like an old man. I need I need a light that makes me now my G7, well, lots of cameras will. You have that thing of uh, making yourself look look better. They really work too, I mean. Uh, so anyway, um, you notice this, because uh, I was playing around and I'm playing around and I changed things today. And, uh, but when I did it with the video, this with all this black area around it, I didn't deliberately do that. It was just, the program I was running and the settings that I have, I was using the this 4K monitor and having it divided into two 
1080p section and that did not work out the way I intended for it. So now I have the setting today at uh, 4K so you're seeing the entire the entire screen. So uh, anyway, uh, oh okay, birthday. So uh, Hillary gave me some money. She bought a vacuum cleaner for me of one of these little dust devils or whatever they are, a little vacuum cleaner, and I'm going to use that just for my room because the other vacuum cleaner in the other room we have is being used to vacuum up cat litter and that whatever, and it just doesn't it just doesn't work anymore. So I'm going to keep that because I've gone through so many. I have purchased so many and Hillary gave us one a brand new, well that's one I think now that's messed up um, but I'm just going to use this vacuum over there for this room because I have when my ex-wife and grown son live next door I gave them at least two vacuum cleaners and they you just can't uh, they're not industrial you know, vacuum cleaners. They were good, but they're not industrial vacuum cleaners. So, and I just, I'm just going to keep that one. It's going to be, that, that's what I'm, I've said those things in the past. And then when they need something, you know, vacuumed up in there, I'm, I've had it. So, uh, at the grocery store, um, Oh, Hillary got a watermelon, and she cut it up and brought some over. And I got a salad, a nice salad, inexpensive. Uh, I bought a big bag of potatoes, baking potatoes again. Still had a couple big ones left, uh, but I got a big bag of those. There was a new... Uh, Well, it's not going to turn this into a uh, eating thing, but the new product, I'll let you know how it works. What is it, uh, bins or whatever? It's a packet, microwavable, of rice, all the different types of rice. Now, we eat a lot of rice, and uh, but this is a microwavable, and all you do is cut a little two inch thing in it and you microwave it for 90 seconds and you have you know the rice we have now that we you know we get in a box or whatever and you add water and you add butter and you add milk we never have any milk but so I put in extra butter or whatever but here we haven't tried it yet but uh, you just take the bag cut a slit and well actually you have to squeeze the bag a little break the uh, rice up in there cut a thing for venting Put it in a microwave, microwave 90 seconds, take it out, dump it in a bowl, and you got it. And they have different, I, I think it'll be good. I think it'll work out. And I am lazy. I eat a lot of the wrong kind of food because I go in there and, but oh, anyway, I bought a salad at the, uh, hang on, I had that already. I uh, bought some TV dinners. So seems to me like Hillary bought three items for me. The vacuum, those two light bulbs. Seems like because I, I, she wanted to buy everything, so I insisted that her, she had a cart and I had a cart because she wanted and still had to argue with her. And, uh, but, uh, so what if I had to eat when I got home? What did I have? Oh, that's it, yeah. On the way home then, Hillary purchased Sonic for all three of us here. I think she got herself something. I don't think she did because she was going to later someplace and get something for Russ and her. So, so we had Sonic. I had a, just had a salad. I just had, she came over a while ago. <clears throat> and I had some watermelon. 
and I've got a little tiny refrigerator there. It doesn't have a freezer in it, but uh, keep Coke in it. And uh, I shoved a few items, you know, I've started to put more and more like onions, green onions, because I, and cottage cheese. I'm trying to eat better. Oh, it was, it's always hard in the uh, grocery store. To go, but I go down the aisle to go down the aisle with the ice cream and with the candy and with the cookies. I think I make little pitiful sounds because I think I go through there and, and uh, I think people are looking at me like, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, let's go to CNN and see what the. Uh, I'm not going to start talking politics, I don't think. Hope not. Yeah, Trump is, and the Republicans now, they want to totally kill Obamacare. Uh This here, I, I haven't, they dropped the charges against whoever this guy is. I I know he was on a TV show or something rather, and he's apparently, well, he's black and he's gay, I guess. And he's the guy who uh, reported to the police that he was uh, beat up and a noose was put around his neck and they called him the n-word and they called him a gay term or something or other and it went on for a few days and then the police arrested him and charged him and they charged him I think like 16 different charges of of things and it turns out that he uh, allegedly uh, paid a couple white brothers I think it was to rough him up a little bit and uh, do stuff and uh, anyway then he played up this this thing and then when he was arrested the police the chief or whatever place it was uh, made it totally inappropriate of course he was getting praise the chief of police was getting praise okay Chicago I guess um, was where it was the chief of police I mean you know said you know was that called him a despicable uh, person and how how could he do this and all that and I thought you know hey this you know in, investigate the crime arrest the people but don't you know maybe leave it for the judge when the person is found guilty anyway they uh, and everybody was this guy lost his job from the TV show I believe and uh Everybody was down on this guy. I mean, you know, he didn't have a friend anywhere. Uh, not in the black community because of what he did. And not in the, I guess, the gay community because, uh, I mean, so, and now they've dropped the charges. I, uh, let's see. You know, I don't want to, I'm not that much, except I'm guessing that the police or somebody, someplace did something wrong, I think, with gathering the information, their charges. I think the police, I have a feeling that the police or the prosecutors are, I don't think so much the prosecutors, because I think the prosecutor has dropped charges, yeah. Um... So I think the police probably messed up some some way because the police were really pissed. Now I can understand the police, especially in Chicago, are really busy and to have somebody, you know, make a false police report and uh, have them exert all the, because he was a celebrity, I mean they're going to, you know, he was, it's a black thing and it's a 
homosexual thing, and they people are, you know, I can, but I think the police may have done something, some things they should not have done. The other thing might be because of his celebrity status and because of oh, the way the world has become now, the prosecutor also may have decided, you know, this, if we go to trial on this, there's going to be two or three people, maybe more, on that jury that no matter what is presented, they're going to say, no, I think he really was. I think the the Klan or white racist really did do this, or there'll be maybe one person on the jury that's going to say, yeah, I think, uh, he, you know, he was targeted because he was homosexual. So, and it just may be that the prosecutor who's elected probably decides, I do not want to take this to court and lose it, and we'd lose it for sure in court. So, anyway, that's it. I guess probably we'll be hearing a whole bunch about this. I don't consider this political, so I kept my word right. Uh, anyway, nothing's jumping off except they were planning on two female astronauts doing an outside. It wasn't just, they were going out and <clears throat> they're changing batteries going from nickel cadmium batteries to uh, lithium ion batteries on the space station. And they have a ton of them, of course. And they have to go outside to change them, and then they're, they're really heavy and everything. Of course, they're out in space. But the uh, it just worked out that there's, th I think, three women on the space station, and so they were planning on two of them going out and doing it. And then they found out that there wasn't, there was a medium or something spacesuit or top part, whatever it is, I don't know, that would work for one woman, but there, they didn't have a medium, and I guess the other, I don't know how many spacesuits they have up there. You know, they're kind of limited on space, but uh, so now they'll have to wait till they have a guy come up, or they'll have to wait until they can send up a medium Seems like, of course, I guess they're not, maybe they're not, you know, seem like they should have small, medium, large, not, I don't think extra large, I don't think anybody, I hope we're not sending anybody to space Ugh, like this. Uh, I don't think the, uh, I don't want to get into politics again, but I think uh, we should keep politics the Federal Communication, okay, I'm thinking, you know, the Federal Communications Commission, the president appoints, depending on what the, you know, if it's, I'm not sure how many people are on it. So let's say there's seven people. Then, see, the re, how they do it when they have, uh, oh, it depends on the president, that's right, okay. Seven people, so he would appoint four Republicans and three Democrats. And then you have the FAA and you have all these different agencies. These people, none of these people, it should not matter. And you should get the best people, people who are qualified in that area, they should be on the board. It should not be political at all. And then the same with appointing of judges. I get so tired of uh, Obama judges or Bush judges or whatever, it should just be the best judges. Somehow we need to get in and change the system. I don't know exactly how you, you know, you know, maybe, well, I don't know, that's over my head, but it seems like for judges, you'd have some law or of course what if the yeah I don't know but it's it doesn't work with the president being it messes everything up makes everything political so and you can't have the vice president doing it you can't have the speaker of the house doing it or the uh, senate majority 
person doing it. You can't, I don't know. Yeah, just let me pick the you know, just like just let me pick the judges, I guess. No, but it's not just judges. It's uh, there. I think there's been some with the FAA, Federal Aviation, on this aircraft thing or whatever. I think political things have entered into that. You know that we have Boeing and aircraft manufacturing places here, and we want to sell, and we do sell. Man, when you, when this thing happened with these Boeing 737 aircraft. I think, what was it, Norway? Norway. I think they have 200 or more of those aircraft. And wow, I mean, so, but it, we should have, these agencies should be protecting us and protecting the rest of the world, it should not come down to political. Now I know we want to sell our aircraft and we want to sell our, we don't have any trouble selling our corn and weed and that around the world. Uh, maybe we will with global warming, we maybe won't have enough <laughs> for ourselves, but um, don't know. Um, Let me play a little bit of, yeah, uh, I'm just going to end it here. Anyway, I want to thank everybody who uh, left uh, a happy birthday for me. I watch, I'm watching more and more YouTube videos all the time. And uh, I think this, I just watched this one just a few minutes ago. A little girl learned she's being adopted and it will bring tears to your eyes. And it did for me. Let me, this has had a million views. I won't do the whole thing. I'll probably get a copyright strike or something, but. Just let me show it to you here. Careful, I want you to I'm going to be adopted? We love you so far. We'll always be your parents. I love you so much. I love you. Wow. So, there is good news in, in the world. I've watched a bunch of these uh, YouTube videos of people that are having the ear, in, that are deaf and have the ear, ear implant, and then uh, they can hear and they're hearing for the first time, hearing their parents or uh, whatever. Then I didn't know about, uh, I watched a few videos of people who are colorblind and there are uh, the, the family or like one daughter saved up the money for her grown daughter saved up the money for her father and uh, by the way I, I'm, <laughs> we're very poor living on I'm living on Social Security or whatever so I'm poor but uh, they I watched a couple of these videos where they father and one with a couple were young boy you know like 20 years old 19 years old 18 years old there's glasses if you're colorblind there's glasses and you put them on and you see the colors and it was just amazing and I didn't I didn't think of some of the things like if you've never seen colors you don't really so they a bunch of these had balloons you know different color balloons around and so this one boy who was like, I don't know, 18 or whatever, he was like, is this, is this yellow? I mean, he knew the name and he knew, you know, before, but when he put the glasses on, is this yellow and is this? And then, uh, remember one of the uh, fathers or whatever, the family, you know, 
were there and they had the I think they had the balloons too and everything but he went over and he was he just walked up to a flower and he was commenting that you know inside the flower there was uh, I don't know the name for him I didn't take biology but those things were colored and then of course he's looking around his thing and then he goes into the you know and there's a gasoline can is red and all that and just it's just amazing but what I was going to say was, um, anyway, these various people, you know, so I didn't know these glasses existed, but apparently people had to save up to get them or whatever. And then I thought, well, they must be like $1,500 maybe for the glasses or something like that. And I think they were only like Two hundred and fifty or four hundred dollars or whatever, whatever, whatever it was. I thought, hell, I've, I haven't bought, had my eyes tested. I've had my eyes tested, but I haven't had a, you know. I thought, hell, I've paid that. I paid two hundred and fifty dollars or whatever for regular, you know, regular glasses. So, all those people, you know, kids should be, everybody, kids should be tested in school. People should be tested if you have kids or whatever there's test I think you could probably do it on YouTube too and all those people should get the glasses that they need uh, Wow but man the uh, kids getting adopted like that by families anyway there's some great videos on YouTube and thank you for watching my little videos here.